Hey guys, you know I've moved to Dubai, and so it only makes sense for me to partner with a local company, LiveBnB. If you're thinking about coming out here for a vacation, we have the perfect offer for you. If you want to find out what that is, click the video up here and down in the description. Check it out. What's up YouTube? I'm Z and this channel shows you the world through my lens. I did not sleep well last night so I feel like my voice is a little bit weak uh, but I'm gonna push through. Hopefully that doesn't annoy anybody too much. I may talk a little less than normal. Uh, that being said, it is always a great day when Lil TJ is dropping and he just dropped three hours ago for me. I don't know what time or what day you guys are gonna see this I'm actually going to try to flip it around and put it out tonight since he just dropped. Um, so hopefully you're seeing it now. Like tonight. Whatever. Uh, this song is called Ya Jack This? Question mark. Question mark. Hashtag no no. Uh, I'm assuming that's going to have something to do with the song. Um, yeah. I guess nothing left to say. Let's go. Is that somebody uh. coughing? Yeah. Bye. Bye. All right, TJ, let's go, buddy. By the way, I saw a lot of y'all asking before he gets into this. I am going to do his Destined to Win album. I think that's the one I haven't done, right? Comment down below and remind me which one it is, but I am going to do it. Okay, um, <clears throat> he's doing a lot of melodic delivery on here. And listen, when TJ's doing that, it's a good time, right? Um, there was a section in there where I, where I didn't catch what he said. He's also got some sort of uh, filter or voice effect that's going on right now, uh, which I'm not opposing, but I'm also not sure if I'm like 100% on board with it. I feel like I gotta listen to it more. This is a very short song, by the way. I just realized it's only like two minutes long. Okay, I like that switch up right there. He went from, he was basically doing the same thing all the way through, uh, and then right there he's giving us a bit of a switch. I like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, this is like short and sweet. I feel like he's teasing us right now, man. Like, I feel like, how do you drop a two minute song? It's like this. It's going to leave us. I mean, we got 20 seconds left, 25 seconds left in the track. I'm not even done with the track yet, and I'm sitting here wishing that there was more. Um, I mean, I think you only do this if you're planning on dropping an album. And I don't know if there's any official announcements. Maybe he's going to bless us with like a surprise album at some point this summer. I don't know. Uh, but that's the vibe that I'm getting. Like, why would you drop a two-minute track that really is just like your fans are going to feel like 
they're not getting enough because that's how I feel. I want more, right? I don't know how you guys feel, but um, I did feel like the first half of the track, I wish that his vocals were a little bit louder. I think that's what was giving me pause. Let me know if you guys thought that as well. Let's finish up the song. I like he said that we ain't never going back to the streets. Um, I like stuff like that, man. You know, especially because TJ does talk about he has a lot of positivity mixed into his music, um, which is why I am a huge fan of his. Uh, because I think that like it's one thing to come from the street and then rap about the streets. Um, and I'm a fan of that because to me, it's like it's storytelling in a form that's like pulling back the curtains for people who haven't lived in that environment to see what that environment is like. Um, and so from that, uh, that perspective, I love it. Um, however, when it's kind of like doubling down on the negative aspects of that lifestyle, um, obviously you wish that it could be different. And I think TJ is that guy. I think he always has positivity incorporated into his music. Uh, and don't get me wrong, like when it's time for him to get violent and, and show his street side, he does that. But I feel like there's a lot of positivity mixed in. Um, and so that line really stood out to me where he's talking about, you know, we're not going to go back to the streets. Um, and, and I think that something like that is just, I think it's an important mindset and movement that I wish more rappers would try to try to be on. And I think a lot of them are. I think especially with like the last few years, which has been so devastating to for us, like losing rappers that maybe are back in their hood or back in a hood where they sh didn't really have any business being anymore. Like you made it out of there, right? I don't know if this is making sense, but that line just triggered that thought for me. So, oh, my voice. If you guys are still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.